Hello everyone, we got actions for today's video. Listen to this right here. The altcoin hub is sweet. The Zilliqa blockchain has been down for nearly eight hours. This took place the other day, guys. I mean, there we go. Another one bites the dust. I mean, guys, we have been telling people and warning people about these coins, right? Be careful of them, guys, because most of these coins probably has to go. No blockchain equal bullish, which is just mind-blowing to say the least. Now, aside from that, guys, Listen very carefully now, it seems like it's all about to start. Israel full steam ahead on digital payments. We cannot make this up guys, right? Israel will ban cash payments over $4,400 on Monday. Wait a minute, what? This was two days ago guys, we cannot make these things up. It seems like the dominoes are falling ever so quickly at this moment in time. Starting next week, Israel will prohibit cash transactions above 4.4k and business transactions above $1,760. Or transactions involving the equivalent amount in shekels, guys. Wow, this is just mind-blowing news. Again, guys, it seems like it's starting, right? Dominoes are about to fall ever so quickly. Beginning August 1st, Israel will ban cash for personal transactions. The country will impose fines between 15% and 30% of the relevant transaction value on those who violate the law. Wait a minute guys, this is absolutely crazy. What is happening? Right? We have been telling and warning people that the new system is up on the horizon, right? The new digital era guys. The new digital age basically. Wow, absolutely crazy. But this isn't no surprise to us, right? The law is meant to fight financial crime by promoting the use of digital payments. By the way, you see, you guys see the scapegoats, right? Exactly. Which are easier to monitor. Oh, because things are about to become what? Fully centralized at that point of time, guys. We talked about this exactly. This is just crazy. What? Israel is tightening its grip on cash. There we go, guys. Those who violate the law will face significant penalties. Oh, guys, there we go. Individuals involved in business transactions that violate the limit may receive a fine between 15 to 30 percent, right, of the transaction's value, depending on the size of the transaction. This is just crazy, guys. We told you things are already centralized to a great degree now, but imagine when the new system is here. It's going to be mind blowing, right? The law is meant to reduce and fight against crime, including money laundering, tax evasion, and you guys can see all those things, right? The upcoming rules will promote digital payments, making it easier for authorities in Israel to monitor financial activity. Guys, look at this right here. CBDC is exactly, guys, we've been talking about this since end of 2020. What? Are people starting to open their eyes, right? Other developments could also work toward this end. In June, the Bank of Israel announced that it would test the Feasibility of a retail CBDC later this year, with results expected by the end of 2022. A CBDC, like other digital payments, would be easy to trace and monitor, centralized. It all points towards that, guys. Israel is just one of the several nations that are developing or exploring CBDCs. France Central Bank announced this month that it is hoping to launch a wholesale CBDC, a digital currency for use between financial institutions by 2023, right? Before 2025, guys. Elsewhere in the US, Federal Reserve Vice Chair has stated that a CBDC could take at least five years to create following. I mean, guys, it's not going to take five years. If there's an event, if there's a catalyst, right? They're just going to deploy that CBDC immediately. All they're waiting for is that to take place first. But this is just mind blowing to say the least. Wow. Again, the world globally is moving towards this new digital age, guys. I mean, mind blowing stuff. Ripple Sweetal. Listen to this, guys. We kicked off the opening of our Toronto office in style, right? This is completely bullish, guys, for Ripple right here and XRP, obviously, right? Full on bull, guys. There are amazing engineers everywhere, and certainly that's true here in Toronto. Toronto is a community we have been partnered with for quite some time. And we have seen the excellent engineering talent here, which is why we're opening our engineering hub here in Toronto. I think you 
probably all aware, we plan to hire 50 people this year with an intent of adding maybe 100 or 200 in the years ahead. Mipo is developing a lot of financial solutions using cryptocurrency and token. So I'm interested in the company. I'm really excited to see that Rivulet's growing in Toronto. I've been trying to get into this space for a long time. Our engineering teams aren't gigantic, but there's still there's still enough people where we're able to work with highly effective teams and your ideas and contributions have a significant impact at scale. I've had uh, opportunities within my team to contribute to multiple projects simultaneously, which is almost unheard of. Ripple is still in a strong position to continue on further growth, and that is why we are opening up the Toronto office. It isn't just about the decentralization of assets. Talent is becoming decentralized. Only when we have a diverse culture can we actually evolve products that are borderless. Everything's becoming decentralized, but centralized at the same time. It's like a paradox, guys. But the last week connects to this week, obviously, because Ripple is at the forefront of this new age. XRP is right. Wow, guys, this is crazy. Now, aside from that news, let's talk about this, guys, the SEC. The mere fact that we spend so much time debating, quote, is X a security, end quote, exposes a big failure in U.S. crypto policy. Exactly, guys. It makes no sense for a regulatory classification to be so controversial. It's bad that so many people had to learn something like the how we test it. Guys, it is pretty crazy to think about this for a second. That somehow, some way, we found about XRP, right? And invested into this digital asset. Which then opened the floodgates to what? Knowledge, wisdom, and we learned a lot, right? Because this is what? A journey. And that is why BG123 does state persevere. This is how we know the SEC is doing a very bad job. Gary, where is he hiding, right? The reason I'm 100% in XRP is because if the Ripple lawsuit fails, by the way, all are, right? It's game over for the rest of the coins. That's why Ripple is basically fighting for the whole crypto industry, guys in a not fun way but if when a settlement occurs there will be a secondary market xrp clarity know what you hold right again i still don't feel like this will go to summary judgment those emails the water hiding in those emails guys right hmm alex cobb is out why were 38 sec officials involved in the hinman emails chain eth speech doesn't sound like personal opinion to me. Sounds very planned. Exactly, guys. This is how we know this whole case is just BS from the start, right? It's just a shenanigan show. Retail investors fire Gary Gesser as SEC chairman for obstruction of justice. Signed the petition, as you guys can go ahead and sign over here. About 15,000, basically almost 15K, guys, if you guys wish to. Now, the Burble Bullet suit out, this lawsuit has allowed me to buy more XRP than I ever imagined owning. It was a blessing, not a curse. Few understand this. Wow. Beautiful statement because I tweeted the same thing a few days after Ripple got sued. Always look at both sides of the story, the negative and the positive, right? Negative from this case is a lot of people lost a lot of money, but the SEC was, was supposed to protect retail investors, but they didn't. The positive side is it gave us a lot more time to accumulate more XRP, right? Because the king accumulates XRP, guys, at the end of the day. This is why possibly we are getting close to the finale of this case, guys. I do believe the case should be ending soon, in my humble opinion. Now, let's talk about price very quickly from XRP Faro. Above 70 cents any day now. Most likely in August. Monthly candle closes today. It's about to get fun, right? Wow, that's going to be insanity, guys. If it could get to 70 cents in the month of August, right? Because, remember, the monthly candle, by the time you guys are watching this, have has already closed. Again, guys, August might be pretty crazy, right? So let's just wait and prepare and see what literally takes place. A lot of people are still bearish in this moment, guys. That is why I am more bullish, even though if we do pull back here, 
it doesn't matter to me because I do believe we go up and never stop, guys, sooner rather than later. Not financial advice, obviously. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys have a please leave a like, subscribe, so it's amazing day, I guess. See ya.